All right, bitches, let's get into this. I have been holding this in all fucking day. In case you didn't know, I got two hours of sleep last night because I was up all night doing a fucking assignment. And then I had work at four in the fucking morning. Now you guys are probably like, um, Spencer, why didn't you just sleep when you got home? Great question. Let me show you why I got no fucking sleep. Now I know you all have the same question. Spencer, what the fuck is that huge banging sound in the background of the video? Oh, um, my house is getting renovated! So not only did I get to come home and lay in my bed, but I got to come home, lay in my bed, and listen to someone bang on my wall for three hours! No sleep, gang. Ah! Miraculous is a French show about lady bubs and cat nerd. They save the city of Paris from the evil hawk moth who makes bad guys using butterflies, but he can only make people evil when they get mad. So he spends all day sitting in his room waiting for someone to get mad. Only one person in Paris can be mad at a time. That's the rule. It's a great city. P property values really high, actually. Ladybubs has the power to be lucky, and Cat Nerd has the power to kill anything he touches, and also make bad puns. When she's not Ladybubbing, Ladybub is a normal girl named Marionette who isn't good at anything. Cat Nerd is secretly a fashion disaster named Brady Bunch. Ladybubs and Cat Nerd are in love with each other, but they're really bad at it and can't seem to recognize each other's voices in and out of costume for no reason. Marionette is helped by her magical bug friend, Tiki. Tiki is a Kwame, which is a term that was first mentioned in episode 22. Did, did I miss an episode or? Looks like it's time for our obligatory once per episode cut to Hawk Moth. What do you got for us, Hockey? <sighs> yup, featuring good 3D animation. What? That's right, 3D animation can look good yeah. now. Look out, Veggie Tales. 26 episodes written in only three months. And shows. Miraculous Ladybug teaches us that the amount of exposition and plot you need for a successful television show is zero. Hey guys, let's skip the exposition and put the beginning at the end. Wow, cool idea. What do we put in the middle? Oops. All the bad guys look like they stole their color schemes from off-brand 90s children's show logos. But let's talk about the real villain, Chloe. Ladybug's real test of heroism is whether she can stand saving Chloe over and over again instead of just letting her die for being the worst human on Earth. You know, you guys could probably snag an Emmy for being the first children's show to kill off a character on screen. Just saying. Hawk Moth has pretty good evil plans too, though. <sighs> Then Ladybubs fixes everything with her magic status quo yo-yo. The status quo yo. Then everything's back to normal. Miraculous. Ah! You guys should stop doing these ending CGs. They look... They look really bad. All right, bitches, let's get into this. I have been holding this in all fucking day. In case you didn't know, I got two hours of sleep last night because I was up all night doing a fucking assignment. And then I had work at four in the fucking morning. Now you guys are probably like, um, Spencer, why didn't you just sleep when you got home? Great question. Let me show you why I got no fucking sleep.
Now I know you all have the same question. Spencer, what the fuck is that huge banging sound in the background of the video? Oh, um, my house is getting renovated! So not only did I get to come home and lay in my bed, but I got to come home, lay in my bed, and listen to someone bang on my wall for three hours! No sleep, gang. Ah!